Hello everybody. Um, I just want to make a quick video about the um, OTG not working or the USB flash drive not uh, being recognized by a Samsung, in this case A50, but this may also refer to other kinds of models uh, of smartphones. Um, the problem is actually not at the uh, software because you might have seen the uh, a lot of uh, videos on YouTube where they show you how to go to settings and enable USB debugging and these kind of things but this is not the case because normally the, the phone won't um, have a problem with a USB flash drive. Uh, the problem is as you can see I bought these uh, cheap adapters from internet basically from 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 China and these adapters if you purchase these ones they won't work with your uh, with your uh, Samsung A50 and probably also the the whole A series of Galaxy um, let me show you if you uh, connect the adapter and then you put your flash drive in it as you can see there literally nothing happens you get no message no nothing and to make uh, that even more clear, this USB device has also a LED light in it, which would um, illuminate when connected, or let's say when uh, it receives power. And in this case, it doesn't receive anything. So I will show you what the problem is. The problem is actually with these adapters, these cheap adapters from China. They cost about uh, uh, they cost about forty cents or fifty cents. Um, but it doesn't have to be only uh, with with these adapters from China. But this applies to every every uh, adapter. Um, the inside of the adapter is when I got this problem, I thought let's open it up and see what's inside and why it's not receiving any power. I'm gonna try and focus on this. This is the inside of. Let me focus. There we go. Um, this is the inside of this uh, of this chip or this adapter. As you can see, the connectors are um, not as they should be. There is only only five pins to your um, to your um, connector, and that is not how it should be. These these uh, adapters should have twenty four pins in it. 24 on one side, uh, excuse me, 12 on the on one side and 12 on the other side. So uh, it will work um, any way you put it in. You don't have to uh, to turn it uh, every time. Um, so yeah, that is the problem actually. It, it, it's uh, it's missing a lot of pins. They do work on some some phones. I have tested on an S8, for example. It did work. But I'm sure it won't work at his uh, uh, full capacity because it's missing a lot of communication pins. Uh, it probably would work just to tra transfer some some files or, or something. But it's it's absolutely not in a a, a uh, USB 3.0, so I'm sure it won't reach the speed it uh, it's supposed to reach. And I'm gonna show you another one, uh, or let's say a a good 24 pins. Uh, connector. This is how it actually should look like. Um, this one, as you can see, has 12 pins on the top and 12 pins on the other side. See, it's full of pins actually inside. There are totally, in total, there is 24 pins, and that is how it should uh, look like. As you can see, the the cheap one from China. You can't even see them because the one side of the of the connector has no pins at all, and the the pins are located only on the other side or the underside. And um, yeah, that is actually the problem. Let me show you. <clears throat> if we connect the twenty four pin uh, adapter, it works just fine. I'm going to reset the focus here. Let's see for a second. So here we go. This is the right side. First of all, what, what you can see is that the... Um, uh, let's 
it's if it's yeah it's there this usb device has also a led light in it and as you can see it's flashing meaning that it's receiving power and you also get the message that there is a usb drive connected to the to the phone so yeah um, what i want to show you is if you're going to purchase a, a usb-c adapter make sure you have a look inside the um, inside the connector and make sure there are <clears throat> 24 pins in it as you can see in this one otherwise I'm sure you're gonna have problem with uh, with a lot of phones there are some phones that work with five pins but once again that is not enough the newer models probably detect or need more pins um, to, to, uh, to operate so make sure you have a look inside it's quite simple whenever or wherever you may buy one make sure it has 24 pins and then you're sure that you got a good uh, good adapter so yeah, i hope it uh, it helps as um, yeah i made a mistake I, I or i ordered these one and didn't knew that uh, uh, that the pin layout should be um, as it is in this one so yeah good luck and thanks for watching bye bye